Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Microsoft router as a DNS server and also how to add static DNS records for internal servers in your LAN network. So the first thing that I need you to do is to download the microtechcloud.router.ova file and also create a uh, virtual machine using that uh, OVA file in uh, VirtualBox. So open up a uh, web browser and then go to microtech.com. By the way, if you actually have a physical router, you can actually follow along this tutorial. You just have to skip this part where I'm actually downloading and setting up the cloud hosted router in uh, VirtualBox. So on the Microtech website, click on the software tab and then scroll down and then expand the cloud hosted router section. So I need you to click on the 6.49.6 uh, stable option on the OVA template uh, line. So once the download is done, you now need to import the uh, 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 virtual machine into VirtualBox and then also connect using um, WinBox. So I'm actually importing now, so you just need to right click on the OVA file and then click on the import button. Once the import is done, select the router and click on settings. And then I need you to change the name, so I'm just going to call this uh, Microtech uh, router and then I'm just going to say with DNS. And then click on the network tab and then set adapter 1 to host only adapter. And then click on advanced and then click set the promiscuous mode to allow all. Click on adapter 2. Enable the network adapter and attach, attach it to the internal network uh, interface. On the promiscuous mode section, click on allow all. And then we just need to make an adjust. Let me just check the display here. Actually, it's actually complaining about the graphics controller. So we actually need to set the graphics controller to VMS VGA. And then click on OK. So um, let me just adjust the video memory and then click on OK. OK, so once that's done, click on Start to start up the virtual machine. So it's actually starting up the cloud hosted router. And then in the next step, I'm then actually going to connect to this router using WinBox. And then we are then going to configure it as a router for a LAN network and then also to work as a uh, DNS uh, server. For that uh, same LAN network. So the cloud strata is actually loading up now. Uh, so we just have to wait for the loading process to complete, of which it shouldn't take more than five minutes for this to to be done. Um, uh, okay, so the router is loaded up now. And then to log in, you just need to use the username admin and remember the password is blank for any new Microtech router. Um, okay, so it's asking me to set a password here. So I'm actually just going to type in a password real quick. Um, uh, before the Cloud Router on the older versions of the Cloud Router, I never used to do this actually. So um, the first thing that I need to check is to see what IP address is there. So if you run the command IP address print, and then you will then see the IP address that's there, and then just run the command IP address remove zero to remove any automatically assigned IP address. So I'm actually, what I'm actually doing now is setting a static address. So I'm just going to set it to 192.168.56.254 slash 24. And then um, I'm actually then going to set this to the Ether1 interface. So that's the command right there that you need to use to set a static IP address. So once you've actually done that, open up uh, Winbox and click on the Neighbors tab. So you should see, I've got other routers on my network, but you should actually see the, you have it, the Cloud Hosted Router. So you may actually just type in the password. And then once you've actually typed in the password, click on Connect. So we've actually logged into the router now. Um, so and the next thing to do is to click, click on Quick Set. Click on the static uh, tab, and then we're then going to set the gateway address. So in my case, it's 192.168.56.1. Click on DNS servers and type in 8.8.8.8. And then on the land local network, I'm going to set it to 192.168.10.1. Click on bridge or land ports, DHCP server, and click on the NAT checkbox as well. 
So make sure you check setting the DHCP server range for client devices. So what I'm actually doing now is exactly what you do on a physical device. Hey? So click on apply and then click on OK. So um, I just need to check the DHCP server again. And then I'm actually going to set the name of the router. I'm going to set it to, let me see, Microtech uh, router with uh, DNS uh, server. Then click on apply. So once you've done that, uh, click on IP and then click on the DNS option. Then I need you to click on the allow remote request checkbox and then you need to then set at least three or four DNS uh, servers. So in this case, I've got 8.8.8.8 already. So I'm going to set 8.8.4.4 and then 5.11.11.11 and 5.11.11.5. So click on apply and then click on OK. So what we actually now need to do now is uh, I need to go to my website and then there's a command that you need to run to force all uh, DNS uh, requests to actually go to your route. Because if you don't do this, then your client devices can just connect out to the internet on their own using whatever DNS uh, server that they may wish to use. So there's a command that you can use that I've actually written up on this article on my website that actually allows you to force all client devices to use your micro computer as their default DNS server. So this is the command right there. So I'm just going to copy this command so you can just click in the, the, the link in the dis video description and you can also copy this command on the website. So you need to click on terminal and then you just paste the command into the Microtech terminal right there. So I'm just checking the IP addresses uh, and then I'm just going to paste that command. And then you need to adjust the... Actually, let me just fix my commenting there because you need to put in... Uh, some code marks and then I'm just going to change the IP address there to 56.254 which is actually the IP address for the cloud hosted router. So once you've actually made these adjustments you need to put your router address obviously there. Just press enter and it's a one command that you just need to run to force all client devices to your Microsoft router. So there's the rule as you can see if you just click on IP firewall net uh, you actually see the rule there. So the next thing that you need to do now is click on IP and then click on DNS and then click on cache. So this is where you actually see all your DNS um, uh, 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 records that have actually been kept by the router. So if you want to add a static record, you just need to click on static and then on the name, you type in your, for example, in this case, I'm actually setting an MX record. So I'm just going to type in, for example, uh, let me say um, mail.billysoftacademy.com and then on the type you can set it to MX and then on the MX exchange field you can actually set it the, to the IP address of your internal email server. You can do the same for A records, uh, C name records, basically Microtech can work as in this exact same way that any normal DNS server works. So click on apply and uh, we should be done so there you have it so that's how you can actually add a static dns record in a microtech router so um uh okay so uh we're actually done with that uh so i'm just going to close out of the and then just apply it once more so um the next thing that we need to do is to protect the microtech dns server from attacks from the outside world Basically, uh, you can actually get di distributed in our service attacks uh, if you actually don't do this. So click on the terminal uh, option and then go back to my website. And then you need to copy those two commands that will actually restrict DNS queries to only devices that are coming from your LAN network. So just, uh, actually, I think I made a mistake here because it's actually supposed to be IP firewall. Let me just say IP firewall and then filter and then I can then run the command so paste that command again and then press enter copy the second command from the website um, actually look for it uh, okay there you have it uh, I'm just checking something here okay so copy that second command and then just copy it and paste it in the microtech terminal 
So that's how you can then protect your DNS server from uh, attacks from the outside world. Uh, and you can actually check the rules there. Those are the two rules that are actually protecting the DNS server. So basically they're restricting all queries to just come from your LAN network and nothing should actually query out from outside. So that's for that. There you have it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.